I ride a longboard skateboard and used to be terrified of hills. Was scared because of a past experience of longboarding with my best friend Kelly in high school and getting the speed wobbles and had a crazy wipeout. I have gotten the courage to bomb hills. I love it. I have the biggest smile on my face. Hello to all the dreamers and risk takers out there. Wannabes, I see you too, and I got you. This is the Veerless and Free podcast where we help people take risks, overcome fears, and experience freedom. Hi, I'm Heather, the host of this podcast. I'm also a risk taker, adventurer, van lifer, world traveler, business owner, Enneagram 9 peacemaker, student in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, connector, daughter of Christ, and encourager to all the dreamers and wannabes out there. This is the Veerless and Free podcast, and we have meaningful conversations with people who took risks in pursuit of their dreams to discover how they did it, whether they started a business, traveled solo, moved to a new state or country, chose an alternative lifestyle, or started a new hobby, these people have one thing in common. They decided their dreams were bigger than their fears. Hey, welcome to the Veerless and Free podcast. This is your host, Heather, and I have a little bit of a different episode today because you know what? I tried something and it didn't go as planned. Oh my gosh, you will not believe what happened. I recorded an amazing episode with one of my good friends. I think you're really going to love it. Her audio sounded amazing and my audio sounded terrible. You know why? I think I forgot to select which microphone to use when I started recording. I was just so excited to talk with her. When I played it back, the audio was just cringeworthy is all I can say. So I'll have that episode up for you soon. And today I'm going to talk about trying something new and navigating the experience and how to get over when things don't go as planned. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, especially when it comes to this podcast. I'm really excited about it and really excited about putting it out there. And I just want anybody who's listening to feel that it's high quality. So I'm re-recording that episode. And I think a big part of becoming quote unquote veerless and free is stepping out of your comfort zone, taking risks and trying new things. I talk about this all the time that I love to take risks and I love to try new things. And I think it's just because of all the experiences that come from it and the knowledge that I learn from doing those things. Over the past year, I've learned and tried a lot of new things. I started training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu mainly as a recommendation from my brother since I'll be living van life. He thinks it's important that I know how to defend myself. When I first started, I was hesitant. I am an Enneagram 9 peacemaker. I, I just really don't like conflict. And I thought that training jujitsu, since it's a martial art, you're fighting, I thought it would be difficult for me to do that. Turns out, actually, I really love training jujitsu. I also have ventured out of my comfort zone a little bit on my skateboard. I ride a longboard skateboard and used to be terrified of hills was scared because of a past experience of longboarding with my best friend Kelly in high school and getting the speed wobbles. And for those of you who don't know what speed wobbles are, it's when your skateboard picks up a lot of speed and your trucks, which are what the, the wheels are attached to, start wobbling. And in high school, I freaked out, ditched the board, and had a crazy wipeout. I think Kelly did too. I think we ended up in the bushes somewhere, but hit the pavement first. Now that I'm back in North Carolina, I have gotten the courage to bomb hills. And I love it. Little by little, I just kept scooting back on certain hills. And my skateboard is amazing. It's a skateboard. I'm going to have Katie from Kateboards on the podcast too. My trucks don't get speed wobbles. 
it is absolutely amazing. So I can bomb these hills in the neighborhood and I have the biggest smile on my face. Another new thing that I've tried, this is mind blowing to me. I took a concealed carry course taught by my brother and he taught me how to shoot a handgun. I, I took this course with and hit X amount of shots on the target and I did pretty well. And then I started this podcast. There's so many things that I've been trying over the last year and I think when you try new things you just have to you have to go in with the mindset knowing that it takes time to become skilled at this activity. I am a perfectionist. A lot of the times I don't start certain things because I don't want to mess up. I want it to be perfect. And you're holding yourself back from accomplishing things if you have that mindset. You know, a black belt in jiu-jitsu, they train for years and years and years. And I'm a white belt and I'm dedicated to this sport. And I know that it just takes time and repetition to get your stripes, to move up and test for your next belt. It's going to be a long road. And you have to understand that you can't just go from zero to 100 like that. And also, it takes a little bit of overcoming emotions and preconceived notions that you've had about that activity. For instance, when I took this concealed carry course, I was absolutely terrified of handguns. And my brother, he's an amazing instructor. He was in the Marine Corps infantry, and so he knows what he's doing, and he knows how to teach. And so being in this course with him, he really helped ease my fears and showed me all the safety and just proper gun handling. So that was definitely an emotional thing that I had to overcome. And then, you know, preconceived notions. I had preconceived notions about jujitsu, that it was just going to be these people training that are just like out to get me. I don't know. The people in the jujitsu community are absolutely amazing. And we're all training partners. We all support each other. And I've made like such great friends through this sport. So those preconceived notions that I had about jujitsu were totally squashed once I started training and getting to know the people in the gym. And it's really one of my favorite activities that I've started this year. Something else that you need to be okay with when you're starting a new activity, like I said earlier, knowing that you are going to mess up. Like we are not perfect people and we will mess up. Like this podcast, having to record this episode instead of playing the episode that I recorded with Shannon. I was so stoked to put that episode out and I thought that I was going to have it out and I messed up. I forgot to choose the correct microphone. And you know what's funny? This isn't the first time that that's happened. When I recorded my trailer, I did the same thing. I just have to be okay that I can't put this one episode out tomorrow. I need some extra time to fix it and to work on it. And just having grace with yourself. I needed to understand what happened and what caused the problem so that I can then fix it and in the future, make sure that that doesn't happen again. Also, when you start new things, you start to expand your mind and and you continue learning. And as adults, I think it's so important that we continue to expand our mind and not just live in that comfort zone and those experiences that we've had. So seeking out people who are better than you or have more experience than you in these activities will help you get better and it will help you grow coaches in certain areas, YouTubers, bloggers. These people have skills that they're willing to share and they put it out into the world. So finding those people that you can learn from are going to be so important for you to continue to take risks and getting out of your comfort zone. You know, these people put themselves out there as wanting to be support for people. 
So you should seek them out. You know, there's so many different communities and I've recently discovered Facebook groups. I'm not a huge Facebook fan, but the group aspect is is pretty cool. So seeking the advice of other people and just keep practicing. The more you do it, the better you become at it. The first time I went to jujitsu, I had no idea what any of the moves are called or how to do any of them. I was just basically this blank slate. And now I've been training for almost a year and have so much knowledge. My body knows how to do certain things when I get into different positions without my mind having to think about it. It's absolutely amazing what muscle memory and practice can do for you and your and your confidence level. As you continue to practice, you'll gain more confidence in your activities. Like I said, jujitsu, I am super confident you know, rolling against a dude who is twice my size because most of them are. I'm like one of the smallest people at the gym. And it's just because I've practiced. I, I know how to defend myself and I know what not to do. And it's okay that I don't submit people every single time I roll with them. But if I can survive and defend, then I walk out of that situation a physically and mentally stronger person. The more you do it, you just gain that confidence. I haven't practiced shooting since I took that concealed carry course, and that was probably almost a year ago as well. So if I went back to the range to shoot, I would be at ground zero. So it's just the repetition. Just keep at it. The more you do it, you learn the tricks of the trade, You get a better understanding for the activity as a whole and you'll find people that resonate with you, which I'm a huge people person. So that is one of my favorite parts of trying new things is is just that you find those people, that community that resonate with you. And then you find those people that are above you in that skill and that you create this rapport with and trust and you know that you can ask them for guidance. There's different people in my gym that I can just go to and and say, hey, I'm really having a hard time with this. You're really good at it. Can you help me? Can you give me some things that I can practice? And it's just being able to, to ask for advice and knowing that anybody who's doing this activity has been in the same place as you if they're already further ahead in their skill level. So just being willing to put yourself out there and ask for advice is humbling and so important, I think, in any activity. Also, as you continue to do these activities, you'll create checklists, mental and maybe even physical checklists for how to perform your best or how to get the best outcome. Like with my podcast, I'm going to triple check my microphone every time I start recording to make sure that I'm using the microphone that I actually want to be using so that I can get the best sounding audio that's available. Create those mental checklists and this podcast, I want this to be an encouragement to people and for people to gain tools and knowledge to just get out into the world, get out of your comfort zone, take risks, chase your dreams, know that you're not alone. There are people who have done this before and I want to help connect you to those people and to those ideas. Thank you so much for listening to this mini episode. I'm just so grateful for all my listeners. I've launched three podcast episodes so far before this one. Two weeks ago was the first day that I just put everything out there. And I've received so much positive feedback from friends, from family, from people that I have met over five years ago that stumbled upon it. Thank you for anybody who has left any feedback for me or shared episodes with friends Please continue to do so because it just fills my heart with joy. And once again, I just want to be able to create a community out of this where we're all helping each other live fearless and free. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you look forward to the real episode that was supposed to play. I should have that for you 
soon. Get off your couch, go do something new, and thanks for listening. Adios, my people.